<laughs> oh, that's fucking funny, man. <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. Oh, look, there's an update. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> oh, so I was so concerned about uh, covering the <laughs> event tomorrow uh, that I hadn't even actually allowed myself to open up this game that I enjoy to play it. I just was going to load it up uh, to play it, and oh my goodness, look at this, an update. I didn't see anything <laughs> about this, but my goodness, isn't that exciting? <laughs> <laughs> now, I can't highlight uh, for y'all, and I am going to do this one relatively uh, quickly because, again, I do just want to enjoy this game a little bit, and I'm sure y'all understand, but i got to talk about this. And, again, I can't highlight, but we're just going to get through it. Uh, for the first time in the Battle of Berlin campaign, an assault mode mission. Yes, we like assault mode. <laughs> We love attacking and defending objectives. Absolutely. Simultaneous capturing points. That's what they were getting at. Yes. Okay. In mo I, I can't remember. If they do do this in normal. Yeah, they do do this in the other campaigns where you have uh, two different capture points. And obviously that just adds a layer of strategy, you know, to the engagements. There, Those, yes, the teamwork's probably a little more difficult. But you guys, we all got to work on that. <laughs> That's on us, all right? Uh, the balance of both sides has improved for already existing Berlin battles, and additional cover has been at. Cool. Oh, so I'm actually excited to try Berlin again if uh, they've tweaked it a little bit, because to be honest with you guys, yeah, I got, I got a little tired of Berlin, just a little bit. But change is good. These frequent updates. I didn't expect an update at all. I don't think anybody told me about this. So I'm just as surprised as y'all for seeing this video. <laughs> Additionally, the respawn window has been improved. I can't wait to see what that looks like. Uh, selected squads will no longer be reset if the selected respawn point is no longer available. Awesome, 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 awesome. So that we're just going to demonstrate that, and we're just going to... Yep. We're just going to demonstrate that and not worry about it too much. We're not going to dwell on it. Tankers will be delighted with many fixes to armored vehicles and the implementation, implementation of a turret control mechanism from the commander's view. <gasps> yes! Oh, commander. And that'll be better for, like, if it's just you and a buddy, uh, you can be his commander. And if you can have the turret view and he, you know, they're, him, he or she is driving... Right? Oh my goodness, yes. Many interesting fixes and improvements are included in the full patch notes. Well, let's just look at the patch notes. <laughs> improvements, locations, and missions. I love bullet points. I really do. Bullet points just get me. <clears throat> the, the new mission, Ministry Garden Assault, uh, as they were talking about those two assault capture points uh looking forward to checking that out has been added to battle of berlin additional cover has been added for the missions oh <laughs> i'm not very good at speaking this later but yeah and oh minute i know that one ministry garden so additional cover has been added to these two uh, missions that's awesome we needed more cover it was a little open in berlin in some spots and that made certain engagements and certain maps just yeah that's a good improvement in order to improve balance, the system of awarding respawn points has been adjusted. Ooh, when the point has been captured by an attacking team in the Invasion Assault game modes. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but any adjustment is welcome because, uh, again, we are, you know, the game is, you know, like, like the player who's playing the game. You know, it's just improving, learning, applying those lessons. Uh, to future updates or to, you know, your future performance, whatever. Uh, balance improvements for the invasion missions in the Battle of Berlin campaign. Uh, the time required to capture some strategic points has been increased. Yes, longer times to cap. Uh, I mean, larger cap areas, guys. <laughs> uh, 
like making them larger than an artillery strike. I I don't know how many times I can say that, but I will keep saying it until it until it happens because it can't be the same size as the artillery strike radius, or else the the point will always be under artillery fire. I'm sorry, but that needs to change. Okay, balance improvements for the invasion missions in the Battle of Moscow campaign. Yes, still paying attention to Moscow, still updating it. Love to see it. Super, super duper de duper. Love to see that. I love Moscow. Everybody knows that. <laughs> so I'm a little biased, but you know, aren't we all just a little biased? The time required to capture some strategic points has been reduced. Oh. The number of reinforcement points for the attacking team has been increased. Interesting. So they're going a different direction with Moscow. That's interesting. Okay. Um, re reducing the capture. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. We'll just have to test it. I'm not going to talk crap about it, but I, you know. Okay. Balance improvements for the invasion missions in the invasion of Normandy campaign. Interesting, interesting, interesting. The time required is an increase. So they're increasing on Normandy, increasing on Berlin, but decreasing in Moscow. Okay, they must just be testing it. That's fine. Uh, the time required to capture points in assault mode has been reduced. Okay. Balance in the missions, the Macy forestry invasion, monastery invasion. Uh, God bless it. I wish I spoke Russian. I really do. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm just not going to, you can read it. I'm just dragging my cursor over this. I don't want to disrespect anybody's language here, <laughs> but these maps in uh battle of Moscow for lone fighters. Oh, okay. They balanced it for lone fighters. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Oh, they are still working on lone fighters too. And it, Oh, I'm going to go play Lone Fighters after this. I'm going to go play Lone Fighters. I'm going to get a nice little video of that. <laughs> okay, cool. The location of some respawn points for missions of the Battle of Berlin campaign have been improved. Uh, that's good. Uh, some of those... And this brings me to spawn protection. I've that Spawn protection has been making me... I'm not going to use the word rage quit because you all know I don't get angry uh, when I play this game. But it has made me not want to play this game a little bit. Sometimes when I get like a bolt action rifle and I'm literally 10 meters from an enemy. And I didn't see them spawn. Uh, but they're moving around shooting at me and I'll get... I think once with a LaBelle rifle I got 5 hit markers on a player who was wiggling around and shooting back at me. And I hit them five times with a bolt action rifle from 10 meters or less. I didn't get it on video, unfortunately, but you better hope I don't. <laughs> because I will not make it look fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The depth of the trenches in Berlin and Normandy locations have been adjusted to allow for more convenient firing. Absolutely. Uh, the trenches are useful for cover, I think, but they can be very frustrating to fire from. That is a good change. Okay, moving on. Vehicles. Um, the ability to control the turret and gun of the tank from the commander seat without getting out of the hatch, that, mm, that's going to be a good change. Yes, sir, absolutely. You, this should have been a thing. <laughs> Let's not, I'm not being salty about it, but this is a great change. This is going to make tanking... Uh, especially because I hear a lot of players, or rather see a lot of players complaining about, uh, like the Jumbo has a real zoomed-in gunner sight. Well, get in your damn commander view, dummy. <laughs> That's why it's zoomed out. Holy, sh <laughs> it's so easy. Okay, but yeah, you can now control this hurt from the commander view, which is awesome. I 100% love that. Love that change. The commander position is now considered a priority, and players will occupy it first. Okay, commander optics allow for the most efficient control of the vehicle's movement. Crew members will take their positions in the following order. Okay, so there's an order. So if you study this, um, you'll be able to kind of plan out, you know, exactly who you're going to switch to, what their equipment is. You'll have that in your mind. 
Yes, uh, driver, commander, yes, then gunner. That makes sense. That makes logical sense. Uh, your commander, in most cases, is going to be the one to exit the vehicle and do the dirty work, right? You know, your commander is the one that pops their head out. Uh, they're generally also the one that's going to pop their body out and leaving the rest of the crew inside, obviously. <laughs> Uh, to go out and do a little work, right? And then the, you know, invariably someone's gonna have to take his place when he dies, right? He or she. Okay. Oh yeah, soldier. We'll occupy the driver. Oh yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Let's continue here. This is interesting. And then lastly, the gunner. If a player enters the vehicle, AI soldiers will move from the commander position. Oh, if only two crew members remain, an AI soldier will occupy the driver position, leaving the gunner position free and available to be swapped. That's just, that's going to make it uh, easier for team play too, right? Uh, when your buddies want to hop in your tank and help you out a little bit, multi-crewing tanks multi-crewing tanks multi-crewing tanks trust me trust me on this one trust me on this one okay the display of the camouflage and coloring of the vehicle icons have been added cool 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 that's just cosmetics mostly uh the site indicating the direction where the tank turret is facing is now indicated by a special marker Ooh, that'll help people who don't understand exactly what they're looking at figure out how to drive their tanks yep if the player takes the place of the tank commander oh okay so if you're the tank commander okay you just you should probably should have whoop, swapped that around that's fine okay t60 the gunner now has the ability to climb out of the hatch Oh, really? Oh. The control of the cannon and turret will be disabled during this process. There's no one who control them. Okay, but at least you can poke your head out and get a view. <laughs> That's cool. That's neat. Okay. Gameplay and other changes. See, these, these, this is so nicely organized. I like it. All these bullet points, all these like little sections. Love it. Gameplay and other changes. Okay. Now every daily task will reward an equal amount of battle pass points, and each battle pass reward will need three tasks to achieve. Okay. Da, da, da. Okay, that's cool. Interesting. Right. I still don't like the, I don't like the tasks. Right, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The battle pass Battle Pass, I think, is great. I think it's going in a great direction. Uh, having a Fortnite-style uh, task system, I think, is... Uh, I'm going to use the word ass, and uh, you might take, take that as me being an asshole, but, I mean, my goodness. Uh, if we could just have just flat experience, you know, for the Battle Pass, at least as an option, so that you don't have to do tasks that you don't want to do... Just saying, that tasks suck. We don't like being told how to play our, our game, right? The, those the tasks, yeah, some people like them. I I kind of like them, but then sometimes I don't want to freaking do them. And you know, it just makes more sense for somebody who only may have an hour in the evenings, as I do. Um, when I work, I have like one hour if I'm lucky, if I'm fortunate, just to play this damn game. I don't want to do tasks in that freaking hour that I have for my battle pass. I don't want to get pistol kills. I don't want to do any of that sh I just want to play the damn game. So that, the tasks, that needs to ch maybe not change, but add in the ability to just freaking grind the battle pass with XP, bro. Come on. Come on. We need new ideas, not old ideas here. Okay, moving on. The interface displaying current tasks, battle pass, and achievements on the main screen has been updated. Yep, new interface. We're going to take a look at that right after we're done reading this. Improved interface for progress and achievements. First battle rewards in the achievements window. Okay, more interface updates, interface updates, anything they can do to improve that experience. Absolutely, 100% agree with. Love it. Now in the weapons upgrade menu, you can select upgrading for parts or for upgrade orders. Cool, cool, cool. 
interesting. A little disambiguation uh, will go a long way in that uh, to help out for sure. Uh, long trophy titles in the supply window are now separated by lines. I don't know what that means. Moving on. <laughs> Vehicle and weapon icons in the window with information about the contents of supply containers and, excuse me, information about the prizes of the campaign level have been colored. Okay, color. Yes, color. I adding color to icons. Anything just to make things pop and just be distinguishable from everything else. You know, any any of that stuff is going to be just good and keep people's attention longer. Colors are good. Also, the display of their availability status has been corrected. Cool. The names of players who deserted the battle are now highlighted in a strike through. Get out of my match, bitch! <laughs> in the debriefing menu. Yep, you leave the battle. Uh, do it to me too. If you ever make a video and you see me leave, you be that fucking doctor online. <laughs> I hardly ever leave, guys. I do. Everybody does sometimes. You know, you have stuff in real life going on. You know, someone at the door, whatever. A family member show up. Everybody has a life, right? Don't don't take it too personal. <laughs> but if you see him do it over and over and over and over, yep, 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 yep. Then it's a problem. Then it's a problem. Okay. Oh my goodness. See, I just lost my place completely. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy sh. Okay. Well, I told you all I was blind and you didn't believe me. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? Oh, here we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Performance on locations with a large number of aircraft has been improved. Good. Performance updates, improvements, optimization. Yes. Yes, this is more what this game needs is just improvements, right? Health, game health. Remember how Rainbow Six had Operation Health? Yeah, there's a reason why that game turned around and became so much more successful than when it released. Because they took the time to make the systems and the base game better instead of releasing content at some point like sometimes you just have to you know pull the, the content's great love the content obviously we're here for content all of us are but stuff like this is so important just little just fixes changes to uh the interface making everything smoother and easier to understand for new players that's going to keep more players in our in this game that we love Okay, gamepads, vibration and battle has been improved. You know, I'm thinking about loading up a gamepad and just checking it out, seeing seeing how she goes. Uh, fire rate of the PPS-42 has been changed from 700 to 600. Ooh, <laughs> that sucks. It'll be closer in line to so or uh, Axis SMG. Jeez, when you play all factions, isn't it hard to keep track? <laughs> the fire rate of the PPS-43 has been... Up? Oh, so they kind of swapped there. Isn't that weird? Well, I'm not a historian, so I'll just allow uh, somebody else to really explain uh, how that works to you, because I don't know. <laughs> but it's a balance change, right? And the fixes, um, the fixes I, I don't really cover in these videos because they're fixes, right? You know, this is just stuff that you're going to notice. We don't really need to talk about it. Let's take a look at the interface. Oh, wow. Oh, I have. Oh, my goodness. Let's take a look at this. Oh, now you see the interface on the outside of the battle pass. See, I'm looking at it. I'm only level 12, guys. I told you I work. <laughs> I don't have time for this. That's why I I absolutely loathe the tasks, right? I, the star system. <sighs> Just let just let me get XP for this, please, guys. I mean, honestly, please. I'm begging you, please, just let us grind this. Yes, have the task, but just say a star cost you. I don't freak. It could be some silly amount, even. I mean, the campaign levels are a silly amount of XP. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they are. That's why a lot of people quit this game because it's grindy, right? Okay, but yeah. This is uh, an unfun grind. Kill eight enemies. Anybody can do that. Anybody can do that. Uh, I don't want to do the pistol one. You can change the battle task, but the the whole point is when I get home and only have an hour to play, that's like two, two decent invasion games, maybe. 
I don't want to worry about tasks. I would like to complete my battle pass. You know, I would like to get this above a 12, probably. <laughs> That'd be a good idea to get that above a 12. But when I get home, the only thought I have is to go play the game and have fun with it. And, you know, I miss, I'm missing out, and I'm sure a lot of other people are missing out on this Battle Pass content that we paid for. Because these, these tasks, man, I'm not... No, I don't want this to be a job after I just got home from my actual job. Like, I get home from my actual job. I don't need to be told how to play my freaking video game for the battle pass that I paid for. Okay? That, that's... I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to say it uh, as, as I think it is. It, that needs to change. This is Fortnite crap. And I don't mean to be disrespectful about it, but this is Fortnite crap. Okay, we, we can do better than... This is better than Last Battle Pass. This is... Look at all these colors, all these rewards. The rewards are better. They're more varied. Massive kudos. Love to see all of this. I love the Last Battle Pass. Great. Still hate the tasks. Hate them even more now. I hate them even more now because you've shown us, uh, Dark Flow, that you're capable of... Th these. This is great. This Battle Pass, like I said... All of it's awesome, except for one little... Nobody wants to be told how to play a game. They want to just play your game. Yeah, the concept is cool. But making it obligatory to just to unlock the battle pass, I'm sorry. You can disagree with me if you want to. You can agree with me if you want to. Everybody has their own opinion, and that's why I'm making this video is to give you mine. Get rid of these... No, not get rid of them, excuse me. Allow XP gains to go towards Battle Pass. Full stop. If you want to sell more Battle Passes, you will quit restricting how your players play this game. Or you won't sell as many Battle Passes. And that's how she goes. That's how she goes. That's the market we that we operate in today. People don't like tasks. I don't like tasks and I'm an old man. <laughs> But I gotta eat my dinner and actually play a little Lone Fighters. Yep, I'm gonna play a little Lone Fighters. I'm not gonna record anything because I'm so tired. <laughs> That's it for today, guys. I'm just rambling at this point. In enjoy, enjoy the new update. Uh, sorry this video is so late getting to you, but we all have lives, and I know you understand. It's okay. Love y'all bunches. Seven out.